Hello, my name is Brother Sidney McDaniel. I'm a minister at Apostolic Tabernacle of the Felicianos in St. Francis de Louisiana. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our daily devotion. First of all, I'd like to thank my pastor, Pastor Chad Mills, for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Um, to start off with, I'd like to take us um, to a prayer. Dear Jesus, we come before you right now, dear Jesus. Lifting you up, dear Jesus, because you're the name above all names. We're lifting you up, dear Jesus, asking dear Jesus right now you reach down to Jesus and, and wrap us in your loving, caring arms, dear Jesus, and carry us and help us through these, these, these times of need right now. When you know our needs so that, that we're in need of, dear Jesus, ask Jesus to watch over our, our military, dear Jesus, right now, dear Jesus, watch over our government officials, dear Jesus, leaders of this country, dear Jesus, leaders of the world, dear Jesus, watch over and help us out through this pandemic, dear Jesus. Watch over our church, dear Jesus. Bring us together. Unify us, dear Jesus, and bring us together in your precious name, I pray. Amen. Um, the scriptures that I have tonight is out of 1 Thessalonians 1, uh, verses 2 and 4. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your, your work of faith and labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ and in sight of God and our Father. Knowing, brethren, beloved, your elect of God. Um, just being transparent, you know, there have been many times before where I've told someone that I would pray for them. But I'm ashamed to say say this, but there had been many times that I've said it and I didn't follow through with it. I'm sure that if we're all honest with ourselves, we all could say this has happened to us all. You know, with me, it, it wasn't done intentionally, and I'm sure with you it wasn't either. Um, it's just that life gets in the way at times, and we tend to forget to do it later on. Or it could be worse, and we could just be be spiritually lazy at times and, and put other things first. I mean, let's face it. We do what we want to do when we want to do it. Um, so we can find time to pray if we really want to. Look at what Jesus asked, asked the disciples. Couldn't you pray with me for an hour? I know that we can do it if we really want to. And I know that that there are many that do, but as a whole, we're not there yet. But if we were there, there in unity, then there's no telling what could happen. You know, if, if one can put a thousand to, to flight and two can put ten thousand to flight, then think what could happen if the whole unified with a whole unified body of Christ. <laughs> It's, you know, it's one thing to pray for others, but it's another thing when others know that you are praying for them. When they can feel it, or when they can see the effects or outcome of the prayers, it is when it uplifts their spirits and increases their faith. And that's when God steps in and honors that, and, and you start seeing the miraculous take place in great revival like never before. We at Apostolic Tabernacle of the Felicianos last year had started a, a Monday night prayer service that helped our church, our church body. I mean, it, it helped us grow and brought our church body to more unity than I'd seen it in in five years. In the, you know, we'd always prayed, prayed with and prayed for others, but this time was different different than other times before. This time is we had more unified, we were more unified than before. It was more intense. You could really see and feel the effects of prayer due to the crying and the weeping and travailing and praying in the Holy Ghost like never before. Due to that, we had a, a great revival due to our unified prayer lives. It brought newcomers and new believers to the church. It brought backsliders back to the church. 
that brought our church to a level that we've never been to before. I know that during, during these rough times that we're going through right now, that things can be shifted in our favor through prayer. Just because we can't be together inside four walls does not mean we can't intensify our prayers and shake the foundations of heavens with our prayers if we so choose to do so. Once we get united in prayer for, for others and stop focusing upon all, always praying for ourselves, that's when we'll see great things happening like blessings and miracles and healings, backsliders coming back to the church, scales being taken off of people's eyes so that they can see the truth and no longer being deceived. I'm here to tell you that great things are to come in unity in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, learning to pray for one another as children of God intensifies our love for one another when we grow together. Jesus Christ prayed for his disciples before he went to the cross. And he even prayed for those who would believe in him. Thus, you and I were prayed for before we even believed in Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul learned, learned of this and continually offered prayers for his converts to be steadfast in faith, love, and patience. So I'm encouraging each of you, when you make time to pray, remember to others in your prayer. Pray for the brethren who are struggling in their faith. Remember that neighbor who is not born again of the water and the spirit. Pray that God will come through for them in their situations. Everyone needs help in some way right now and as we pray for one another the church grows in love and faith and patience and greater works are to be done in jesus christ hallelujah god bless you all and tune in and see us apostolic tabernacles of the Feliciana. god bless have a good night